Now, the reason why a seeker looks for enlightenment is there is an end of suffering. You would agree on that? Yes, that's right. That's right. That is what and this we are is seeking. the end of suffering. No, we are not seeking you know, a heavenly place with angels singing, trumpets blaring. No, no, no. We are not looking at that. We are just looking at a simple stopping of human suffering. And that yes. we see through teachers and, and gurus. And you think that's going to come through a new, another experience. You not think that if you know that. enough, or you experience enough, or if I tell you what to do, that that will lead to the end of suffering. And the suggestion is, the end of suffering is this already. Suffering is the claim that something needs to happen. But Jim, there have been thousands of followers for you, lakhs of followers, millions, uh, who have been following and have not got enlightened. And there have been others who have uh, followed a certain method and who have got enlightened. So it's a very tricky situation seekers are in. Should we follow a method or we should not follow a method? I know. It's, 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 it's fraught with doubt, the experience of the seeker. So I have, I have a suggestion. Why not all the ND speakers form an international association? Like, you see, I am a doctor. We have an association for hypertension, diabetes. There is an international yeah. association. You get together and yeah. you form a consensus statement for the year 2021 and update it every year. Yeah. Because what you, you like to, what should we put in the statement? <laughs> Pardon? What do you want in the statement? What should the see, statement say? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you. See, there are two groups of speakers. One say there is a method. Others say there is no yeah. method. That's and right. even among speakers who say there is no method, you still say there is a lot of doubt in the dictionary or the words that you use, which lands seekers into a lot of doubt. Yeah. So we keep on yeah. hearing the same thing for 25 years after Tony Parts, there is nothing, there is nothing. But then you see speakers, <laughs> you know, they, they travel across the globe, they go to India, they go to China, Japan, they go to different European countries, attend everything. Yeah. But the message yeah. is nothing. The, what are yeah. they gaining from this? Nothing. There's nothing to gain. How about um, I tell you about my story? Steve's going to give you an answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I want, before you do, I'd like to interject here, please. Um, is my video on? Everyone seeing yeah, it? Yeah, I can see you. Um, I, I think um, that you missed something, Yolongo, that, that Jim said. You just talked over it. And it seemed to me that if you really heard that, uh, the question would be solved at least as far as it can be in words, what he said is that suffering is a claim that something needs to happen. Now, I think at that point, if you'd heard it, you would look self-reflexively at the uh, e egocentric predicament that you're in of feeling like a separate self that needs to something to happen in order to stop your suffering that that's what's being pointed that is out. yeah that's, but that is what every that is what every human being wants but but no not every human being wants that and I, that's what i mean by the egocentric the, the egocentric predicament you're in that predicament not everyone uh, it's is. not it just wait wait let me finish it just seems to you that everyone is in that predicament because that is the predicament that you that you take your own perceptions and project that out onto the world as if that's all that could be. That's why you don't hear what Jim is saying. You just missed it. Talk right over it. You asked him, if you're such a great spiritual teacher, man, how about throwing me a few pearls? And he really got to it, but you didn't that you you got what you asked for, but you didn't appreciate it. You didn't even hear it. What he said is, I'm going to repeat it because I agree with it. Suffering is a claim that something needs to happen. And when we see that nothing is really happening except this being. Is this Steve means, speaking to me? I'm not able to. Is this Steve speaking to me? No, it's I'm, Robert. I'm, I'm, this is Robert. 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 Okay, okay. Robert. Ilongo, okay. what I'm saying, Ilongo. Yeah, I know, I know that you follow my writings and you've seen my point of view. Yeah, so correct. I'm not expressing that now. What I'm expressing is, from my point of view, you asked for something, but when it was given, when, when when it was given to you, you turned your hearing off and just no, 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 Robert. That is your interpretation of what I said. I, I'll repeat what so, I said. Wait, stop. 
Yes, it's my fucking interpretation. That's the point. And so is yours. No, no, no. I'm speaking to Jim. You're coming in between and interpreting what I am telling. Oh. I would like to say to Jim again that I understand what he says, but uh, because you have come in, Robert, I will tell you too. Generally, uh, every human being in life, when they have pain, they want a solution. I agree I with pain. Robert. Who's that? Jim. Yeah. Jim, what I was trying to tell along with Robert. I know, what but I agree is, with Robert. That's okay. okay. But then you don't have anything to say now. I mean, if you're willing to listen, I'm willing to say. Okay. No, I just, have to just say. as long, just as long as you understand that that. I understood very clearly what Robert said. Very oh, clear. He's very okay. clear in this uh, yeah. elucidation of what he said. He said I didn't understand. I nested over it. No, I I understand what Jim has said. That you know, mm. suffering happens, and he used the word egocentric. That's cool. Everybody is egocentric, uh, but a human being, when there is suffering, for example, if there is a pain because a stone fell on your uh, toe, you need go for a doctor. Or you need to put an ice on that. That is a normal human mm. predicament because you are a clothed animal. You mm. want pleasure and pain, and you don't. You are even when you are in a non-duality, you don't shy away from the pain mm. and the pleasure. So the suffering, what I'm telling you, is the pain I have. I'm asking for a solution. And I don't think there's anything wrong. And from Jim, I could get nothing. Yes. Or if Jim can explain to me in, an, in some other way, you know, like, you know, like Ilongo, you nope. couldn't understand, I would be willing to accept. But that's what Robert was trying to tell. I understood Jim's yes. uh, answer was that you couldn't. And uh, Robert was trying to tell that suffering is egocentric. Maybe, maybe not. But when there is pain, I want a solution. That's the reason why seekers come to spirit. The spiritual world that they expect the teachers to give them a solution and uh, jim is telling me there is no solution that's fine Absolutely. with me i can only say that could you maybe redo your work and say if there is anything you can, remember, <laughs> you can tell us you can always review the literature <laughs> the review of literature is there yeah <laughs> sometimes when uh, you know as a doctor you make a wrong diagnosis or something is not jelly, you go back to the uh, uh, roots, you go back to the history, the clinical science investigations, and then you check if anything is wrong and you redo it. That's, I think, a sign of a, you know, a, a, a teacher who would like to keep on uh, refreshing what they are teaching because we are yeah. drawing a blank with the speakers. That's, you know, my yeah. uh, I've been seeking for 30 years, and uh, you know, when I come across uh, the brand of speakers like Jim Newman. Initially, when I hear Tony Parson, it's fine initially, 20 years ago. But then after 24 years, Jim saying the same thing, I feel there should be an upgradation like a version 2021. <laughs> That's my honest request <laughs> as a speaker. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, I love you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. And Robert, thank I understand you. where you come from. Yeah. I don't, I don't think- I thought it was Steve speaking. You know what, Ilango, to tell you the truth, I don't think yeah. you understood what I said at all. Because if you did, there wouldn't be anything else to say. Yeah. That'd be the end of the I'm still listening. Okay, I'm going to say I'm still listening. I, I will say it again. Yeah. There, is, there yeah. is suffering in life on the physical level, clearly. If you have a toothache, you have to go to the dentist to stop the toothache. That's clear. Yeah. No one would yeah. be enough of an idiot to say that doesn't exist. It exists. Yeah. But yeah. this psychological suffering is what we're is what what you're saying yes. is inevitable. Yes, yes. And yes. I, it is not inevitable. It's possible to be in a place of non-suffering psychologically. I understand. It's just possible. People are there. You're not there. And so you project this onto everyone. You're suffering. You're you're projecting your that's what I when I I let me just finish. I am not saying that egocentricism is the cause of suffering. What I'm saying is you don't see what suffering really is because you, you imagine that everyone feels just the way you do. And they don't. Jim doesn't. He didn't agree with what you were saying. I don't either. I, I agree with what Jim was saying. Suffering is just the need for something to happen. If you don't need anything to happen, you just sit here. Okay. There's no suffering. If I get the toothache, then I need something to happen. I have to go to the dentist. But if I don't have a toothache and I'm just sitting here, I don't suffer psychologically. I don't need anything to happen. Nothing. I can just sit here. That's how we got, Jim and I got together here in the first place. Apparently he said, he said I could just starve to death and that would be good. And I had said that a couple of years ago at a meeting that 
I don't mind. I'll sit on the park bench and starve to death. That's okay. Now that is, there's no suffering in it. No suffering in that. Robert, can I, can I ask now a question to you? Of course. Uh, I understood what you said. Uh, is there, a, I mean, Jim, you know, is a vetoes any method at all to come out of the suffering? Do you have any suggestion to, to me that how do I remove my psychological suffering, not body suffering, the psychological suffering? Is there a method? Is there a way? Is it, are, you, are you asking me what? I'm not clear. You, is there a uh, method? See, when I have a toothache, when I have a toothache, I go to the dentist. That is a body suffering. Yes. I am talking to you about what you just now spoke to me. Is the psychological suffering on an event or a non-event, which is the reason for human suffering, not the pain, the, su yeah. the psychological suffering. Psychological suffering, yes. And you're asking me, is there a method for ending that? Is that a, correct? The idea, the idea of, of the idea of a method is the suffering. Then how do I remove the psychological suffering? If I have a toothache, I have a dentist. If I have a psychological suffering, what do I do? Is the question. There's nothing to be done. When there is a when there is a dental problem, there is a solution. There is a method. There is a dentist. But, but when there's a psychological problem, what do I do? Short of going to a psychologist. Well, yes, on a on a on a relative level, you can go to a psychologist and have psychotherapy, and you, your suffering may change into something a, a bit less drastic and painful. That's possible, but to be without suffering, even the desire to be without suffering is, is a form of suffering. It, it's hard to get your mind around it, Ilongo. I know that, but that's the method. If there's a method, there isn't a method. But if, if there were, if I were writing a method, the method would be snap out of it. 